In this video, I'm having a go using oil pastels. And from what I can gather, they're a little bit like Marmite. You either love them or you're gonna hate them. I've read that a lot of people don't like them because they don't dry properly. I've also read that a lot of people don't like them because they just can't achieve the results that they wanted to achieve. So I sat for about half an hour using these oil pastels so I'm just going to let all of it run through in the background and when I'm done chatting I'll just let it go silent with a little bit of music but if you'd rather just have the chatty bit you can simply jump around using the timestamps or the chapters in the video description. That's totally fine. So these oil pastels I picked up very very cheaply in Aldi. And when I started, I wasn't exactly expecting very much from them. I could have gone out and bought a more expensive set, but I do think that budget materials are a really good introduction to a particular art medium or a craft, because if you enjoy something and you're good at something, then you can build up to the more expensive equipment. But also, because it's oil pastels especially, if you hate it, then you're not stuck with a really expensive set of pastels that are never ever going to get used again. I think a set of 24 Faber Castell was about 14, 13, 14 pounds. And you can get the really expensive Senlia, 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 I don't know how you pronounce it, for about 190 pounds for a set of a 120. <laughs> I'm quite happy to try out these Aldi ones. Anyway, I do have a very vague recollection of using oil pastels many, many years ago on some educational visit to a museum. Other than that, nothing. So I thought I'd start with a Starry Night inspired scene. I figured that because I'd read that so many people were disappointed with the results, that I would try something that was perhaps a little bit abstract and that I couldn't really go wrong with, just to get a feel of what the oil pastels are like on the paper. So they are quite primitive, and it is a little bit like drawing with a crayon. You don't get a really smooth um, edge, and you don't get really smooth coverage. Unlike wax crayons, these are very, very soft, and the harder you press, the thicker the coat of the colour you'll get on the paper. So the first few strokes that I made, they were really just um, an undercoat, really, because as I built up the picture, I ended up drawing over them, and the colours do go over each other very, very well. I was actually quite surprised that the oil pastels glided really nicely across the page and I thought that the colours were vibrant and that they worked well together. It was a nice selection in the set. I did try blending with my fingertips a couple of times but I kind of preferred the rougher edges from the texture of the pastels. As you lay the pastels over each other, they do kind of stick to each other. That's quite hard to explain, but you can place a different colour on top of another colour and they almost kind of like blend themselves in on the edges a little bit. So this Starry Night inspired scene was a really fun, quick exercise for me to do. And if you've got a redundant set of oil pastels or you're thinking of trying oil pastels, I can recommend having a go at something like this because it is a little bit random and you're only using limited colours and you can't really go wrong.
So once I'd had a go at attempting a Starry Night inspired scene, I thought I should try and go for something a little bit more realistic. But because it was in my head that a lot of people have had trouble using these oil pastels, I thought I should do something simple. So I went for an apple. And I'm beginning to think that drawing an apple is a really good idea for starting out with an art supply. Again, I found these oil pastels were very easy to use. I pressed them quite lightly to draw the outline and then I built up the colours, which blended really quite well actually, especially for an Aldi set. I think what happens is when you're using something like oil pastels, especially on something as simple as an apple, is that you start to focus just that little bit more on the colours. Because you can't really get the shape of an apple wrong. So it was very easy to add yellow tones, white tones over the red tones. And yeah, I just found it very easy that you could build up the colours, which blended really well, to adjust the shade. And I also loved the kind of slight texture that these pastels gave.
So I still had about 15 minutes left of my allotted craft time left. So because I was having so much fun with these, I thought I would have a go at drawing a bonsai tree. I thoroughly enjoyed doing this one as well. Mostly I think because um, I got to play around with some colour and I do love playing around with colour. I think most of my art practice over the last six months has been about learning to draw, learning new techniques, um, becoming a little bit more technical, honing my observational skills and today was just an absolute joyful um, opportunity to play around with some colour. And because you are only working with a limited palette, it does force you to be just that little bit more creative, a little bit more expressive with the colours that you've got. So the more layers of oil pastel that you apply, the greasier it is to apply the next layer of oil pastel. But it also makes them easier to blend together. And then if you've blended something over and you're not happy, it is still possible to just glide any rough detail over the top.
I absolutely love dotting in all of the different colours for the leaves on this tree. And I think towards the end, after all the precision that I'd been doing recently in my portrait sketchbook, these oil pastels really did give me the opportunity to relax, almost as much as the neurographic art. So at the end of my happy half hour, I didn't want to stop. I wanted to carry on, but I had to stop. I was also at a little bit of a loss as to why so many people hate them. I didn't struggle to use these oil pastels. I struggled with watercolour painting, but definitely didn't with these oil pastels. And I think the bottom line is that if you're trying oil pastels, expect something different and try something simple and to have a little bit of fun with them. Don't be too ambitious. Don't go for a big massive lakeside scene or a forest scene. Try an apple, try an orange and see how they work for you. Try something a little bit abstract or impressionistic. So I do fully expect to buy some better quality oil pastels in the future. I think the top range ones are a bit out of my budget, but the Faber Castell ones are probably a little bit of a step up from Aldi. And I will probably do a comparison video for that one as well. One thing I will just mention is that in this sketchbook, I did draw on both sides of the page, but in future, if I'm using oil pastels, I think drawing on one side of the page so that you don't get an impression build up through the layers because they do stay a little bit tacky. And I also put a sheet of tracing paper just to protect the work so that it didn't stick to the other side of the page. I think greaseproof paper might work a bit better. You can buy special fixatives if you're doing a high quality image, but this is just my sketchbook, so I don't need to worry about them being preserved, it's just practice. So thank you for watching. Do give me a thumbs up if you got this far. Your support is very much appreciated. Let me know what you think about oil pastels. Are they a bit like Marmite for you? Do you even know what Marmite is? If you're in Australia, it's Vegemite, very similar. If you're in America, well, I don't know if you have it in America, actually. Yeah, let me know. Um, yeah. Anyway, yes, thank you for watching. And do go and check out some of my other videos. I've got various different types of content available. Most of them are art and craft related. And do hit subscribe if you don't want to miss out on anything in the future.